There are over 1.3 billion people at risk of cholera, 3 million cases a year, and over 100,000 deaths. And that was in 2015. We've got over 50 countries experiencing cholera. We've got countries that have not experienced cholera for decades now uh, reporting cases. So it is a global crisis. Cholera is um, a disease which is mainly afflicting the poorest populations. Simplified lower cost vaccines could make this life saving tool available to a much broader range of afflicted countries and populations. The International Vaccine Institute is the only international organization whose mission is to discover, develop, and deliver safe, effective, and affordable vaccines for global health. The first Director General of IVI obtained funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for the Oral Cholera Vaccine Initiative. It was twofold. One, to understand the burden and the epidemiology of cholera, to get a better description globally, but also to develop low-cost cholera vaccines that would be suitable, affordable, safe and effective for those communities at risk. It allowed us to take in technology transfer a vaccine from Gothenburg University and transfer that vaccine to Va Biotech. IVI helped to uh, work on the process for the vaccine. The Vietnam vaccine became then best international standard and was later transferred to India to become Shankar. Shanta, within four years, then uh, pre-qualified that vaccine. So it became available for use in global health and for purchase by a UN agency. In 2013, the WHO created a stockpile. At the same time, it was clear that we needed another source. We realized very early on that there was not going to be sufficient supply of cholera vaccine. And so IVI was then commissioned to tech transfer that cholera vaccine to other manufacturers. IVI did a technology transfer to a small Korean company that had really not made vaccines before called Ubiologics. And through its improvement on the presentation of the vaccine, made it much easier to uh, administer, but also much easier to transport. The Ubicol Plus is an innovative product that replaced the glass vial of original Ubicol with a plastic tube. IVI provided significant ideas and research support for this innovation. Funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation provided end-to-end -end support. Not only do you need to create the supply, but at the same time, you need to be able to convince countries to implement oral cholera vaccine programs. And you can only do that if you have cost-effectiveness data. Since 2021, we launched the Ethiopian Cholera Control Program, which encompasses strengthening or enhancing the uh, disease surveillance and uh, introduction of OCD, particularly the UV Cold Plus uh, in mass vaccination, followed by impact assessment. So far, we have two years data since we uh, provided mass vaccination to more than 100,000 population. After the oral color vaccine became successful, the demand for the vaccine pretty quickly increased. In 2018, we started looking at how can we expand the supply of the current generation of oral cholera vaccine, but also we need to look towards potentially other types of vaccines that may have different characteristics. We had the idea to simplify the current vaccine. We simply took that idea to the Gates Foundation and they funded us uh, to do that. Original vaccine, uh, we can say like a three different type of cholera and with five process. But new vaccine is only two strain and two process. That means our vaccine is very much simplified than original. So we can uh, dramatically increase the production. The new simplified formulation, which we developed in partnership with U Biologics, has a product called UV Call S, S for simple. That product has been approved by the Korean regulatory agency, KMFDS, and also pre-qualified. As the sole supplier of OCV at present, our company is fully committed to fulfilling its responsibilities. By 2025, with the full-scale mass production of Uvicol S, the capacity will increase to 70 million doses. IVI is tech transferring this simplified formulation to a manufacturer in India, which will be critical, and to a manufacturer in South Africa. This would be the first vaccine from African continent 
wherein end-to-end -end vaccine manufacturing would take place in Africa. We are collaborating with the University of Gothenburg in Sweden on the development of Duocol. Essentially, it is a dry or lyophilized version of an oral cholera vaccine, which would be in a capsule formulation. It would be fully thermostable and also include the cholera toxin B subunit, now at a much lower cost. The other new vaccine that we're working on is a collaboration with Mass General Hospital, Harvard. This is a conjugate vaccine. This is injectable preparation, and we are, what we are targeting to have a relatively longer protections, specifically to children. I think the work that IBI has done to simplify the formulation and to take transfer it to different manufacturers is an amazing success story. We're going to have sufficient supply, well over 100 million doses a year, uh, within the next two years. And this will really revolutionize the work that we're doing in terms of cholera control.